Okay, this is one of the more tricky challenges from section 11 of the course. Um, get nth prime. Basically, the user is going to input a number n, and the program will return the, well, where that corresponds in terms of it being a prime number. So, for example, if, if the user inputs 1, we'll get the first prime number back, which is 2. If the user puts in 6, we'll get the 6th prime number, which is 13. Um, the test that I use is the 100th prime number, which I hope is 541, and that's the number I'll be looking for when I test this program. So first we get the user input n, and then we're going to use the uh, well, the signature that we were recommended in the question, um, which is nth prime n, and we're going to output that. So C out nth prime, um, and this prime, uh, this sign, this function uh, nth prime, it takes in an integer num, and in the process of coding, it will call another function called is prime, which uses int, well, we'll call it int num. Um, basically, it takes a number that we generate from within this function, checks if it's, and returns true if it's prime, and false if it's not. So, um, to find an nth prime, um, well, let's start from zero. It doesn't really matter where we begin our count, because anything below 2 we know is not going to be prime anyway. Um, so we've got a count and basically this is going to go from 0 all the way up to the max integer if necessary. Um, it might take a long time but if the user inputs that they want the, the 20,000th prime or whatever we, we've got a program here that could probably calculate um, uh, to a very high number anyway. Um, we also need to keep a record of how many primes um, we've uh, found so far. The prime count variable is going to increase or increment every time we return a, well, we find a prime number in this function. And once this prime count equals this number, the user input number from main, then we're going to exit this uh, function and basically return the wherever the count has incremented to. So um, maybe that's not clear, so let me code a little bit more to make it clearer. So while um, uh, the number is, an, is a number, while it's still there, um, we're going to return count. Um, while number exists, then we're going to check if is prime count prime count um, plus plus. We don't really need these brackets here. If um, prime count is equal to num, then we're going to break. and exit this while loop. Otherwise, we're just going to increment our count each time. So, um, how are we going to determine if the count variable that we're, that we're sending to this function is a prime or not? Well, first of all, if that number is less than 2, we know it's not prime, so we can return false. In addition, um, we can use a simple check starting from 2, where check is, uh, the condition is check is less than that number n, um, plus plus check, or check plus plus, I guess either or. Um, if, um, if n modulo check equals 0, then we're returning false. However, 
if it goes through all of those and doesn't return false we're going to return true so hopefully with all of those completed we should be able to put in our simple tests so the first one would be 6 which returns the 6 prime number which is 13 the more obvious one is 1 which returns 2 and finally 100 which returns 541.